The TruePoint Arch provides accurate setups for SRS SRT treatments and is 510K cleared by the FDA for MRI use. This video is a step by step guide to setting up the TruePoint Arch. Begin by selecting the ideal position for the horizontal arm. Depending on the tumor location, the arm can be oriented in either the left or right position to help optimize the treatment plan. To change the orientation of the arm, flip the arm, secure the knob, and replace both the bite assembly and nasion piece back onto the frame. Make sure the positioning indicators are facing up. Next, place the individual head support on the base plate, ensuring the proper orientation. Place the thermoplastic sheet into the water bath. Refer to your manual for heating times. Apply the sheet with the wide part positioned superior over the head support. Stretch the sheet itself, not the black pieces, and lock the sheet into the head support. Then, have the patient lie down on the headrest, ensuring the patient is superior enough on the headrest to allow clear access to the arch docking points. If the patient is too inferior, the arch will be difficult to attach. With one hand over the forehead and the other over the chin, apply two straight down compressions with enough pressure to ensure a quality deep impression. Allow the thermoplastic to cool for five to 10 minutes. Next, form the bite tray. Attach the putty to the putty dispenser. The superior notch on the bottom of the putty will align with the dispenser. Then attach the dispensing straw to the putty. Fill the bite tray with putty. With the patient lying down, insert the bite tray into the patient's mouth. Make sure the top lip is completely over the bite tray to ensure a complete impression of the teeth and or gums. The jaw can remain relaxed. The putty can be recapped for reuse. The bite tray should remain in the patient's mouth for two to three minutes or until the putty is set. To form the thermoplastic mask, place the mask into the water bath. Refer to your manual for heating times. The bite tray should be in the patient's mouth with the jaw relaxed. Then remove the mask from the water bath and remove excess water. Pre-position the mask over the patient's face, focusing on the forehead and chin, and avoiding contact with the bite tray. Pull the sides of the mask down. Make sure the bottom of the mask is slightly over the chin, and then lock down the side pieces. Pull the top portion of the mask down over the top of the head and lock it down. Make sure the top portion of the mask is formed just above the patient's eyebrows, Then, mold the mask around the patient's ears and under the chin. This will help with superior and inferior reproducibility. Now the arch can be attached. Make sure the bite assembly and nasion piece are positioned so they will not collide with the patient. Then, insert the docking pins into the base plate and lock the arch into place. Carefully position the bite cup and place it around the stem of the bite tray. Position as close to the patient's lips as possible without touching them. Close the lever. Place a new dispensing straw on the putty and completely fill the space in the bite cup with putty. Lower the nasion piece, ensuring that the gel cup is centered and is properly cradling the nasion. Apply as much downward pressure as the patient can tolerate, then tighten the screw. The patient is now ready for simulation. Record all settings on the setup sheet. 
Once the putty in the bite cup has completely hardened, the arch can be removed. To remove, open the lever on the bite cup and unlock the arch from the base plate. Carefully lift the frame upward. This same simple removal process allows for quick release in an emergency situation. Sivco's True Point Arch for an accurate, repeatable, comfortable hold. For more information about the True Point Arch, contact Sivco.